I'm Rosie Pope, founder of Rosie Pope Maternity and Mum Prep. I'm very excited to introduce you to James Stanley, an amazing interior designer. He's going to show us how to turn a very ordinary cubby into something fabulous for your child's room. Hi, and welcome to Mom Prep. I'm James Stanley, interior designer and Mom Prep expert. Today I'm going to walk you through building and decorating this bookcase that we are going to turn into a customized cubby. It's something that you can purchase at almost any retailer. There are many different versions of this system. It doesn't have to be intimidating. I know we see the box, we see all the parts, it's heavy, all the tools. You're like, oh my god, I don't want to assemble another thing I'm not good at. In this particular case, it's a cinch, so don't sweat it. No power tools needed. We have one Allen key that the system comes with. You have eight primary Allen screws that you screw into. The interior system is all these particle boards that we go ahead and we put the wooden pegs in. So you have the peg, you put it into the slot, you hammer it down, and we're good. It's done, fully assembled. And I wanna show you now how to accessorize it for storage set of drawers already assembled in a square cube and it slides in no tools no hardware voila they also make the door that locks they also make pull out baskets and sectional dividers the key to all this is organizing it and personalizing it for your needs your child can grow into different sections and you can mix and match and move these around i also want to show you my favorite part and that's the design on this side the fact that it's a magnetic board and the letters come off and on, it's really easy to keep kids entertained, very kid-friendly. As well, it's a chalkboard, so they can draw. You're able to wash it, clean it. It's very durable, Mom, so it's a very easy cleanup and a lot of playtime right here for the kids. Now we're on the clean side and I'm going to show you how to apply the magnetic chalkboard paint within the square. This is just a visualization so you can see how easy it's done and the many, many, many possibilities of the way you want to format your paint. You're going to use a foam head roller because it's very smooth and because you want to be able to write on the surface and be able to clean it easily, you're going to buy a very thin foam head roller. All right, we're going to apply it. Now that we've applied the first coat of paint, you're going to need at least three coats 30 minutes to 45 minutes depending upon the weather to dry in between. The reason you want the three coats of paint is it's going to make the magnet power that much stronger. Letters stay on, they won't fall off. Key with the magnetic paint, and this is a very, very strong point, is it's got metal in it. So when you buy it from the store, make sure that they're shaking it very well and you need to request that because if not, it has metal flakes in it, you're going to get it home. There's going to be about an inch to an inch and a half of metal in the bottom of this can and you're going to be sludging around. So make sure they shake it before you take it home. One of the great key factors that I use this in a lot of my designs is the fact that it can also be wall mounted. And the reason you might want to wall mount it is to save space in the room. It's up off the floor and it frees up a lot of floor space. Please consult a professional about mounting the cubby on your wall. This will ensure your child's safety and the utmost protection. Now we have a completed cubby, personalized, that's really easy to figure out and very inexpensive. 